things. Now, what is it? Uh, I wanted to ask you, how many of you have heard about a company called Party Gaming? Uh, do anybody know? Uh, have you heard my question? Hello? No, sir. I have no idea of it. Party gaming, uh, Bella. Priya? Uh, yes, sir. I heard of party gaming, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, because it's a Hyderabad based company, actually. Yes. yes. You know, this guy is a very interesting guy. Uh, I must tell you about this guy. He had his headquarters in Hyderabad. In 2005, I have known people who have taken this. His name is Anurag. Please Google this party gaming. Huh? Uh, I may be wrong about the name of this guy. I think his name is Anurag. He's an IIT guy. He went to USA and in USA he met with a, uh, what do you call Canada, he was there. He came into contact with a person who was running an online sex business and that, I mean he was actually, she was running a very simple comfort house for a lot of people. In order to facilitate online, uh, uh, what do you call, dating, you have a lot of these online dating sites now. He is actually the father of this online dating system. No, I mean, it was simply for a, what do you call, sexual favor. It's not like matrimony or, you know, whatever it is. And he established this company in Hyderabad. About 200 people worked and uh, he needed further money. The person whom he met for the first venture became an important financier for his software program and uh, they came up uh, next with an online gambling portal. Okay. The online gambling, he is a permanent resident of Gibraltar now actually. Okay. He lives in Gibraltar and uh, he had a server in Gibraltar. He stayed in Canada and USA made tons of money. This party gaming became a well-known company in Hyderabad because each one of these 200 uh, employees, many of them became millionaires in do dollar terms actually. You understand? He simply generated a lot of wealth. All are simple programmers, debuggers and uh, simple guy. Even like, you know, Narayan Murthy is a driver getting 1.5 crores in the initial public offering. These, when this party gaming went, uh, it's actually an online gambling site and the government tried to do a lot of things about him. They know what he was doing and they prosecuted him for a tax fraud. He was convicted for one year. He served a sentence of something like six months and thereafter he was able to buy his freedom. Remember this party gaming and Google it and you will have a lot of information about him. And all said and done, he is one of the highly respected businessmen. He still has a lot of money. He lives in Gibraltar. He may not come to India. He may not go to US. Okay. But at the same time, he has made his life. A lot of these things, you know. All right. Now, who are the people involved in crime? Network engineers. Cyber security software professional, cyber forensic experts, you know, like uh, uh, we all think that, you know, internet browser history, like periodically we all get rid of it, right? But then uh, a trained professional will be able to extract data, whatever you do, he might be able to do that. And you are talking about different professionals, network engineer, security software professional, cyber forensic experts. He will be able to tell you what has happened to a computer when and by what method that objective was achieved. IT governance professional, internet security auditors, in fact, 
Uh, I have referred two of my friends who do the security audit actually. And in fact, uh, I used to generate business for them rather than getting business for myself, to be very honest. Because they are wanting people who will go through the internet system that you are employing and the software you are regularly using, the type of accidents, the ethical hackers, you know, they are, uh, they can tell you what all ways. In fact, even uh, Indian Election Commission gave what is known as a very big hackathon challenge. You know, when Modi government won the election, a lot of people said that Mrs. Gandhi won the election because the ballot paper and the ink came from Russia. Whatever symbol you put the your mark, it will ultimately become a vote for Mrs. Gandhi. Same accusation was made against uh, uh, election commission when Modi got Mamta Banerjee. Nobody less than Mamta Banerjee spoke that actually. So, uh, this is the kind of security audit, right? Uh, it is very important. And how do they make sure that everybody feels comfortable with the security? Start a hackathon and they keep the system open between this time to this time. And uh, even Subramanyam Swami claimed that he will hack it. But, yes, you know, man. in the last minute he pulled out and, you know, it went off without a trace. So, this way, uh, the service providers, government agencies are being able to be sure for themselves that nobody can, in an unauthorized way, get into their secure, certified internet security auditors. So, big business these days. Cyber law experts. IPR and breach of confidentiality cases. Do you know the case of uh, Santanu Mukherjee? Have you heard of him? Adobe software, everybody had heard, right? Okay, this man became a very big guy, very rich guy. Uh, his kid was kidnapped in Naida and the Delhi police uh, mobilized about 6 lakhs. He gave money to got uh, his child back actually, okay. And he became another victim because his secretary who wanted to buy a two bedroom flat demanded him to give one crore. He didn't give and she came up with an idea to give this uh, company secrets to a competitor. She was caught. Mumbai police, this is all available. Adobe, you can just uh, cyber crime. Uh, secretary of the MD, you put it, you will get all that, it's full of uh, debt actually. Now, unfortunately, she is having so much of access to the confidential information. Now the company itself thinks that uh, she, they will give her pardon and keep her in the company with increased salary. You understand? Because uh, she knows so much of information. And any kind of the breach of confidence, including contracts, margin, people, a lot of things. And if all that goes to his competitors, well, his dominant marketing position, cyber law implementation professional, e-governance agencies. And this is a very big problem because uh, I have been trying to do cases online. And I find then if it is a small routine matter where I have to speak for about 15-20 minutes, I will probably do it online video conferencing. But if it is a big matter where I have to take the judge through the evidence of five witnesses and analysis of the 60 documents which have been marked in the case, I will not really prefer it. But everyone today in the profession is resigned to the view that Unless you are willing to, and now we realize that it is suddenly providing me a lot of opportunity also. My witness may be in Australia, but his cross-examination can be done in India. All right. And you have Cyber Time Research Cell, Forensic Lab, and a whole lot of things actually. So you find that 
you know this jihadi jar have you heard of that jihadi jar a british national who went to afghanistan when they had to behead an american soldier he was there and uh, he of course claimed that he has become a uh, a lot of these things actually so what i am trying to tell you is that uh, terrorists are also having their regular uh, problem now this is a serious problem 20 to 30% of the internet consumption by children below 12 to 17 years i don't know i mean i'll find it you know uh, very difficult to handle in fact you know as i i gave my children a mobile phone only when they completed plus 2 but now all the parents get a smartphone for the kid for the kids to attend what you call as an online classes you have a parental lock sure many parents are aware of it and make sure inappropriate program do not reach but please remember kids are also interesting actually in fact let me tell you uh, this what i call as a cyber stalking you know the <coughs> issue came up when i was in law school actually uh sometimes the teacher will find the behavior of the student irritating all the time they'll be talking to the neighbor most of the time like my junior is doing fiddling with the phone Sen- when the class Sen- is on <laughs> don't worry i'm just saying uh, you understand what i'm saying uh, so much so that when this case came up in delhi i called earlier the judges used to say don't use laptop and mobile phones in my court now most of the senior counsels come with an ipad in the hand which has all the pleadings right so you really don't know what to do with this kind of things what was originally considered in fact uh, when i was a teacher in law school some teachers refused to permit students to carry a laptop to the classes they said i don't know what they are doing man whether they are watching internet or movie or listening to my class and taking notes you know uh, I, in fact i was one of the first teachers in law school to permit students to wear a lab i mean to take a laptop to a class actually i mean it took quite a long time even for teachers to realize that uh, the laptop in his hand is just a substitute for the paper and pen which a normal student is used you know this um, my space used to by predators to meet and entice kids online a uh, specific marketing strategy i i don't know how many of you love kurkure any comments you know kurkure the it is a brand snack and uh, many of these uh, and uh, chakos was the rage when it came a specific targeted advertising towards kids they become addicted actually i mean i'm not just talking about the phone but i'm just talking about even the normal products actually you know uh, you target uh, somebody you know like i'll tell you one more uh, incident before i go to the next slide in us the rivalry between pepsi and coke is proverbial coke is the first entrant to the market pepsi is a later entrant if you ask a coke fan he'll say he will never drink pepsi and if you ask a pepsi man i hate coke but all these people were subjected to a random test cola was given to them in a glass they were asked to identify the cola and about 90% of them identified it wrong so what it means it means that if you target 
advertising when people are between 5 to 15. After 15, they are unlikely to change. Even though the other product is not anything different from the one which you have been using. And this shows the level of addiction. All right. <laughs> this I think, you know, in yesterday's cause I discussed that. 1998 it took place. Information Technology Act came in 2000. So when this guy, Baba B.A.R.C. Atomic Center, Anti-Indian, Anti-Nuclear Messages. Okay. 1999. Website of the Indian Science Association was defaced and the hacker posted provocative comment about Kashmir. Okay. So, you will find that, that, that actually this is more a propaganda of war. Alright. So, this was the question was came to me even as a law teacher in a hostel, if someone or caught with pornographic material, what can the warden do here? I mean, this is one question. But please remember, law school, sometimes you have children who are less than 21 years old. They may have attained the majority and uh, there is a, still a good amount of parental control. Suppose, this is again a problem. Uh, you can't think of it in American universities. Uh, but in Indian universities, uh, if a father has some information about the student, which is uh, known to the teacher, if the student gives it, I'm sorry, if the teacher gives it, when the person is about 21 years old, I think a teacher is guilty of uh, breach of confidentiality. You know, this is actually the law. Uh, because uh, about 25 is a major, right? Uh, in defamation, we have a defense called qualified privilege. Teachers have what is known as a quasi-parental authority. And not many Western legal systems are willing to allow it. Because in Spain, Somebody who is 12 years old is uh, capable of consenting for a sex. Okay. Now, abortion is still very difficult in Spain. All right. Now, very simple question. Whether possessing, watching pornographic material is legal or illegal? I said without hesitation, it is legal. What is illegal is distribution of pornographic material. It is only to talk about this distribution. Yesterday I gave an illustration. I have a computer. I have a porn video. I keep it under a password and a special secret file. And nobody can bug me. Even if I go to Saudi Arabia, which can give me a stiff, if so long as the possession is a secured possession. The second situation is, I want to distribute this. I put it in a pen drive and give. Okay. Third situation is, I use my Bluetooth transfer. Fourth is, I use the company intranet to transfer. Fifth is, I use the internet service provider to transfer. Last three are offenses, but uh, the one where I probably I give it in a pen drive to the other person, it's not an offense actually. All right. Now please remember, if it is child pornography, okay, even the possession is illegal. Uh, we don't have to talk about distribution and things like that. Alright. Publishing information which is obscene in electronic form. Morphing technology. Mandatory punishment. Five years imprisonment. 
How many of you know that uh, Delhi public school kid? Should I discuss it? I don't. But please remember eBay.com, Avinash Bajaj. Google it. Huh? How many of you know it? Do you know it, uh, Mr. Praveen? Yes, sir. I'm aware of it. Okay. We have watched the video or what? Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't want the, our class is full of ladies and I don't want any of them to prosecute me for what you call. Uh, <laughs> propagating. Anyway, uh, I mean, it is a very big issue. Actually, what happened? You know, it's, it's, it's a terrible. How many of you do not know it? Shall I tell that everyone knows it? Can I say it? Can I say it? If you promise me that you don't uh, <laughs> prosecute me. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what is the fact of the case. Very quick. Uh, Delhi Public School uh, Children of NRI parents, they have very strong contact with Canada. Kids are well fed, 19 year old, they had a consensual sex and one of the boys who had a smartphone took everything in the smartphone and he went and bragged to his friends that he did uh, sleep with that girl. His friends refused to believe him and in order to prove to his friends he actually did it, he said that first he showed it to them. And someone asked, hey, why don't you send it to me? And he used his own internet to give it to his friends. One of the copies was held by a guy who is doing MTech in IIT Karakpur. And he used the MTech uh, IIT Karakpur library. This is a case that happened, lady. Okay, I am not exaggerating. And finally, it resulted in an amendment to the IT Act also. Uh, what happened is, this guy made a copy and he created a website and he advertised in eBay uh, about this and he sold about 60 or 70 for 70 to 80 rupees, 5 minutes viewing time. And he advertised it to eBay and the eBay also, eBay you know, they don't know what the content that fellows are putting. The content is described, money is sent, money is transferred, eBay takes a commission. Avinash Bajar, now the, now the name sounds uh, eBay. You know, please uh, Google it, you will get this uh, case actually, Delhi public school case actually. And uh, sure, this matter came to light. Uh, Delhi police very smartly handled this matter. My first question is, do you want the kid to be prosecuted? And is a boy who used Ah, you are a boy. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Uh, in fact, Delhi police decided that this is actually the bravado of a teenager. Stupid teenager. Okay. He didn't really know the consequences of his act. He shared it with his friend and that friend shared it with this IIT guy. So they left both the kids. In fact, the girl went to Canada within a week to pursue her schooling there and they went to Delhi police decided we are not going to do anything to the kids. And they also decided to leave the kids who in turn posted it to a lot of people. They caught the IIT fellow, very correctly, in my opinion. The fourth day, that guy was dismissed from IIT because he had used a public resource for the purpose of creating a private profit for himself, um, something which was legally prohibited. Okay. And uh, what they did is, they arrested Avinash Bajaj also. He is a big guy here. He is an IIT millionaire and, you know, uh, venture capitalist, the creator of jobs and uh, US uh, embassy got very furious about it 
and uh, unfortunately mr bajaj was arrested on a friday evening and he could be released on bail only after 10 days and he made sure after coming out that the internet service provider he doesn't have a liability unless yesterday we talked about actual knowledge and constructive knowledge okay if you ask me whether i know all the provisions in it act i'll say i don't know here each case i work i know something relating to that provision but as a lawyer are you expected to know everything about it act yes that is called as a constructive knowledge but actually i may not have knowledge i may not have knowledge so after this <coughs> there was an amendment to the it act and the internet service provider will be held responsible only if we had exercise to uh when you when you had paid to exercise due care and diligence after having been pointed out of the illegality all right uh i think you know i will uh, not uh, bother so much because matters which are descriptive i'll try to ah these are the different laws indian evidence act bankers book evidence act rbi act it act okay these are the institutions okay leave this leave this and i skip this okay uh i'll skip this these are all look at it when you are uh, teacher just the day before the examination and i don't think you know i love uh, all right uh now most of the offenses are considered cognizable but both bailable and compoundable okay one day when the offense is punishable with a period of more than 3 years it becomes non bailable abattor is guilty as much as the perpetrator the level of investigation is from a deputy superintendent of police not the police constable not the inspector not the sub inspector not the circle inspector it has to be a ha huh? okay right uh let me not talk about all these things and you know look up these sections yourself uh i i am i'm not talking about these things i skip it but please read it huh? um i'll only discuss cases very quickly i'll try to talk about three or four at least you know <coughs> these are the offenses under ipc here okay if somebody sends a threatening mail why not say hey please have a look at it carefully okay i am not going to discuss it because uh, i will have some time for a case ah this is very very important indecent representation of women act okay uh, online sale of warp these acts have been changed to make them compatible with section 208 okay they regulate and control the affairs of the cyber world uh seamless integration blah 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 check it have a look at it at your ah uh, sony sambandh case okay some guy actually this guy is not a, not, not exactly a cyber criminal he was a regular regular criminal he used the sony brand name and uh, offered to sell a sony set for one third of the price lot of people gave money okay and uh, he didn't give okay so we just disappeared but he was just a plain and simple guy actually okay uh, the company itself were all right i i have with this guy ah this is actually a terrible case 350000 rupee from us call customers transferred to bogus account some employees of the call center gained the confidence of the customer obtained their pin numbers to commit fraud 
Actually, if you are able to prove fraud in a credit card transaction, in a debit card transaction, by and large, you have an insurance cover as a customer. The amount will be normally protected. Okay. But if they are big sums, it's a problem actually. That is why most of the companies now tell that people cannot carry their mobile phones. Actually, this is a big case, big fraud and uh, Pranav Mitra's email fraud. Gujarat Ambuja. Okay. Uh, uh, kind of an emotional blackmail. Okay. Uh, she said a few things and uh, if the other fellow doesn't comply with, she will commit suicide. Now recently somebody called Vijay Lakshmi in Tamil Nadu. Hey, Mahamar, did you know about this? She speaks a lot of things about Seema. Have you heard her, Mr. Ramar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. YouTube. Uh, YouTube. And also, what about, uh, see, this, uh, this is a kind of an emotional blackmail, right? If uh, uh, she committed suicide, right? This, uh, now Mitra exported the few lakhs of rupees as advocate me. <laughs> the advocate